Hi everyone. Today's presentation by Unsafe Productions is a jam handy film strip from 1960 and is titled Faint Hearts Don't Sell Fair Ladies. It is a dealer salesman training film about selling the Corvair to women. This film was in terrible condition but the crew at Unsafe Productions did their best to make it viewable. I hope you enjoy it. This is the Chevrolet Corvair you asked about. How do you like it? Looks very nice. Well, why doesn't he tell me something about the car? Do I have to drag it out of him? Is it true that you don't have to use antifreeze with the Corvair? That's right. You see, it has an air-cooled motor. Uh, but then I don't suppose you'd be too interested in that. Oh, so he doesn't understand it either. Well, um, how is it inside? Is there plenty of leg room? Oh, you'll be surprised how much leg room there is. Has more headroom than some standard cars. Well, I don't know. Do you think the two-door or the four-door would be better for me? Well, of course, that's up to you. Look, if I knew what I should be buying, I wouldn't have asked you in the first place. Well, uh, maybe I'd better think about it for a while. Thanks, anyway. Thanks for what? For talking to me at all? Doesn't he want to sell me a Corvair? What's he afraid of? Me or the car? Women. Can't do business with them. Can't do business without them anymore. Every day, more of them are coming into the dealership. And I'll be damned if I can figure out what the hell they expect a salesman to do to sell them a car. Today's woman still dreams of the night on a white charger. She still has a natural instinct to want to depend on a man. Even the most hard-bitten career woman is attracted to and will buy from the man who inspires confidence. The salesman who treats his products with confidence and with authority. The woman who walks into your dealership might be one of the following. A housewife or married working woman who requires the use of a second car. A widowed or retired woman who enjoys the convenience of a car, the wife who drives and helps to select the family car, or the single working woman who must furnish all her own transportation. Whatever her transportation needs, however, whether she comes into your dealership alone with her brother or her husband or a friend, she doesn't come to buy a car. She comes to be sold. Your woman prospect may or may not understand the more technical aspects of an automobile. However, she wants to know that you, the salesman, understand them and can explain what each feature does for and that you can show her where your product is superior to a competitive product. She needs to depend on you for the information and knowledge she herself may lack. The fact that you take the time to explain all the features of your product to her is also a compliment to her importance as a prospect and to her intelligence, which she feels you may tend to underestimate. A woman also expects you to help her in making her decision to buy a car and buy a particular model. She wants your recommendation. The it's up to you attitude leaves her cold. And she expects your recommendation to be made on the basis of her needs and wants in an automobile. Although a woman is sensitive to color and style and will probably be most immediately attracted to them, It'll take facts to get her signature on the order. Remember, a woman is a conditioned shopper. In most cases, she either makes the majority of purchases for a home or initiates those purchases and supervises them. She seldom buys on whim. In general, she's not a price buyer. She has shopped many big sales and month-end specials and can't be fooled too easily. She'll spend an extra dollar if she knows she's getting her money's worth. But she wants to be convinced. Testimonials are wonderful selling tools. Use them whenever possible, but don't depend on them alone. Your lady prospect wants to depend on you, not on another woman like herself. And be sure to give a demonstration drive. The lady will want to prove to herself how really easy the car is to handle, how comfortable it is, and how well it rides. But again, 
Don't depend on the demonstration ride alone to sell your car. Your lady prospect wants to depend on your judgment as much or even more than she depends on her own judgment. She wants to depend on the man who is selling her the car. This doesn't mean that she appreciates an overly aggressive sales pitch, a know-it-all attitude, or a you, Jane, me, Tarzan, weaker sex approach. It does mean that she appreciates a roof-to-tire explanation of the car and its advantages to her, presented in a manner that shows your command of the situation and inspires her confidence in your knowledge of and belief in your product. The Chevrolet Corvair, for instance, is a car particularly suited to the driving needs and wants of a majority of women. In fact, you might say that the Corvair is made for the woman driver. She gets greater ease in driving and parking, a convenience and often a necessity to the woman driver. Her desire for simplicity in the operation and maintenance of a car, her high regard for the true value economy she can expect, and just her natural feeling for the smaller, more compact things that in her own mind seem to point up her femininity, make the Corvair her car. The mere statement of such facts, however, that the Corvair is smaller and more maneuverable and that it's more economical to drive and maintain will rarely influence the woman prospect. So explain to the woman prospect why the Corvair handles more easily. You see, the Corvair's wheelbase is only 108 inches long. So, when you turn a corner, you don't have to swing out as far as you would with a standard wheelbase, and you don't have as great a distance to bring the car back after you turn the corner. The Corvair also has a faster overall steering ratio of 23.5 to 1. And this allows you to make the turn with less turning of the steering wheel. Now she knows you're not just making a claim. She not only sees a real reason for easy handling of the car, but she realizes the car will continue to handle easily under all conditions for as long as she has it. Illustrate just how much narrower in width and how much shorter in length the Corvair is compared with a conventional car. How this helps her to navigate narrow driveways and gives her more room in the garage and how it allows her to squeeze into smaller parking spaces. This will make her more confident that the smaller car has very definite driving advantages for her. Advantages she can explain to her friends who might consider her purchase impractical or entirely due to economic reasons. Point out the economies of a compact car. Roughly estimate her increase in gas mileage, the smaller amount of oil she'll use. Explain the economies in parts for maintenance and repair, that even her license will cost less. This car is not only easier for her to drive, it saves money for her too. Now she can feel she's being as shrewd about buying a car as she is when she buys a better tasting canned food product for two cents less than the brand most of her friends buy. Bring out the fact that parts and service for her new Corvair are available nationwide, that her Corvair is backed up by the entire network of Chevrolet dealers, by Chevrolet Motor Division, and by General Motors. Show her the air-cooled engine. Point out the obvious absence of a radiator. Explain that air cooling, in addition to being more efficient than liquid cooling, is more economical. The Corvair has an air-cooled engine. Now, this means that it warms up more quickly on a cold morning, and you save fuel normally used to heat cast iron, water, and radiator. Of course, in addition, you save the expense and worry of putting in antifreeze, having your radiator flushed out each spring, and replacing worn-out radiator hose call her attention to the aluminum construction of the engine and its flat design. The flat design of this Corvair engine helps to give the car a lower center of gravity so that it hugs the road better and safer to drive. The most expensive and durable car in the world, the Rolls-Royce, has an aluminum engine. And Corvair is the only American-made car that provides you with the superior efficiency and durability of a modern aluminum engine. This is a real bargain you're offering her and she's not sacrificing anything for it. I hope you enjoyed the show and learned something about women in the process. We are not sure about part two, but we will search the archives and make it available if we find the film strip. Please stay tuned for more from Unsafe Productions in 2013.